Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hey, my name is Ron Carlson. I'm with Renovation Gurus. I'm a general contractor, and today I'll be hosting the REI Classroom. And I want this is part two of the things to be careful of when you're hiring a contractor. This show is sponsored by PassiveRental.com. So piggybacking from my prior discussion, I'm just going to go right into it. Uh, most final cleans on a, a bid do not include windows. So when you see a final clean, if your contractor cleans at all, you want to be sure what that final clean includes. Sometimes it includes the inside of the windows. Sometimes it does not include the, ex or the exterior of the windows. You want to be sure, is it just a, a sweet mop or is it is it a, um, a full hardcore, they're going to get a bunch of people in there taking off all the paint on, 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 on spots that they miss. When you see a final bit, uh, clean on a bid, you just want to be sure what that final clean entails. Um, contractors that do not return your phone calls, be very, very careful of this. They'll say, oh, I'm so busy. I was walking the house. I, I ran into the situation. I Whatever. It doesn't matter their excuse. It's okay if they don't answer your call right away. Um, but it's not okay for them not to return it. And by return it, I mean probably by the end of the business or at worst case tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, uh, you know, the following uh, business day. If they don't, flat out just don't return your phone call, you're going to get that same type of customer service while you're in the middle of the rehab. And it's going to be really, really frustrating to you. And then contractors that have a lot of personal problems, we find that sometimes we hire a contractor and they're doing awesome for us. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, uh, we realize that they start to have a drinking problem or that they are having problems with their wife or their son or with their landlord or uh, maybe somebody got deported. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but it happens. If they start having personal problems, they're going to start showing up late. They're going to start going home early. They're going to start taking two-hour lunch breaks to go and file some paperwork that they need to file or to talk to their landlord to meet somebody somewhere. And that's going to affect your rehab. Um, I'm not saying that it, if somebody has a personal problem and you need to fire them, just be careful once their personal problems start to overtake their work that you're very cautious of that. And you might want to start looking for another contractor at that time. Now, th this contractor that has personal problems, they may be good for you another six months. Let them get through their personal problems and come back to them. But don't keep giving them so much work. You're going to over flood them and and they're going to not perform the way that you want them to perform. Be careful of contractors who knows a guy. If they know a guy, say, oh, I, I think my neighbor is a painter, or I think my cousin's brother's girlfriend used to do interior design, whatever it is. If they know a guy or they think they know a guy, be very careful of that because that probably means they've never hired that person and they never hired that person directly. So you don't want to be the, oh, I use them the first time ever to hope that, they know what they're doing. You want to hire the guy or you want to hire a contractor that has been used by your contractor, by your general contractor repetitively and has performed flawlessly, or you're going to find yourself being a guinea pig for somebody's uh, science project on if they can paint the interior of your house or not. Uh, be careful of contractors who are getting back into contracting. If they're getting back into contracting, why do they get out of contracting in the first place? It's probably because they are not a good contractor. That's just the bottom line. Good contractors have references. They have referrals. They are busy constantly. I know a couple of guys, they're booked out right now. Uh, they're booked out 90 days. They're booked out 120 days. You can't even get in with them and for them to work on your rehab for three months. That's a great contractor because they're getting constant referrals. They're getting constant repeat business. But the contractor who was in it five years ago or used to work with their dad 10 years ago or whatever, they're probably not the high quality. They're probably not a good customer service, and that's why they're out of the business currently. Be careful of contractors who is really slow right now. It's kind of the same thing. If they're really slow right now, it's because they don't have references or referrals, and they're probably doing a really, really bad job. Contractors that are good will be busy forever in referrals, and people will keep coming back to them. Contractors that are not good will be slow, and that's how you'll know if they're a good or bad contractor or not. Um, and then contractors, be careful of contractors who do not have a written contract. You need it everything you do in writing and you need it line specific it needs to be so detailed that if for some reason you ever had to go to court which i hope that you don't have to it needs to be so detailed that you know exactly what was on there for example 
on a kitchen, I've seen a lot of contracts say kitchen, $5,000. Well, that's not how you want your contract written. You want your kitchen or your contract to be written something like this. Kitchen, garbage disposal, drain lines, countertop, backsplash, upper cabinets, lower cabinets, hardware, tile, grout. You want every single line item to be laid out, what color it's going to be, what size it's going to be, and then what the price of each line item is going to be. Don't let your contractor group your whole entire rehab into one line item because they're lazy. Um, you'll find that you'll have a conflict later on when you go to square up with them, and you'll find that you have a conflict on price where you thought the backsplash was included in the kitchen, and you find out later that the backsplash is not included in your kitchen. So be very careful to get a written contract, all change orders. If you discuss it and you're going to pay that person, you're going to hold them uh, responsible, then you need everything in writ written in a contract with high, high, high detail. Um, again, this is part two of Be Careful with Contractors. My name is Ron Carlson. I'm with Renovation Gurus. If you would like to contact me for any reason, you can feel free to call me or text me on my cell phone, 817-566-4346. And you can check us out at renovationgurus.com. Renovationgurus.com. Enjoy your day. PassiveRental.com is your source for turnkey, done-for-you rental properties. If you'd like to be an investor and not a landlord, please visit PassiveRental.com to learn how to purchase cash-flowing, professionally-managed rental properties in the hottest rental markets across the country. We can also help connect you with financing for your next property. Invest the easy way today and get started by visiting PassiveRental.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of Flipner.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of Flipner.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows, where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com shows, or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.